What is up guys? It's your boy Jalen here. Welcome back to the channel. Here with some of you guys' favorite content. I know where I said that I was going to be doing the vlogs when I go to home games. And I was going to be doing the reaction video for the away games. But if you listen to episode 99 of the Bleeding BNG podcast, you know that I didn't do much tailgating yesterday. Because to be quite honest, I am so checked out. So I don't know how many more vlogs there's going to be this season. To be quite honest with you. But one thing that I can guarantee, and it seems to be some of you guys' favorite content that we produce over here at Bleeding BNG, I'm always give you a reaction video. I'm always give you a reaction video. You know, we usually have boots on the ground. Not usually. Every, every home game, we have boots on the ground. So, I haven't watched the TV copy. I know the result of the game. Uh, we lost yesterday to the Philadelphia Eagles. I haven't watched the highlights, so I don't know what plays they're going to you know, put a microscope on. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this reaction video. But before we get into that reaction video, actually, guys, be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe. We're about 40 followers away from our 1K subscriber goal. And we actually have memberships now. We're a part of the YouTube payment family now, the YouTube program payment family. So we actually have memberships. Please, please sign up for a membership if you've been rocking with us, especially my day one supporters. Go ahead and sign up for that membership. Get exclusive content, exclusive access to everything Bleeding BNG, everything Wiz Kids Forever, and everything that this channel has to produce. So go ahead and hit that super thanks button. Go ahead and hit that membership button. Become a member. Join the Bleeding BNG Mafia. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into this reaction video. Watching that the ball first. This was a theme all game. Quick game, screen passes. Um, and I'm not, I promise you, I'm not gonna keep you long today. But one thing that I really wanted to highlight is that you know, all off season, a lot of the beat writers, you know, we were boosting the ground at training camp last couple of games, uh, for a couple of days, um, and we thought that Chris Paul was honestly the best left guard on the roster. Now, with that being said, I think that Sadiq Charles has the argument of being the best offensive lineman to play this season. But with him missing the next four games, I think that a guy like Chris Paul, who we were harping on, you know, potentially playing, I think that he took advantage of his moment for sure. Uh, one thing that they talked about all offseason and the reason as to why Sadiq Charles was going to beat him um, out at the, you know, during training camp is that they said that, you know, Chris Paul simply just struggled to move in space. But here I thought he did a decent job, and it's kind of shocking because he has elite raw athletic score numbers. His RAS score is very elite. So it's kind of shocking to hear that uh, because this is a guy that was moving. I think he ran under a 5 flat 40 for a guy under 300, uh, guy at 330, almost 340 pounds. That's freaky. Um, but he gets out here in space, doesn't ID his man, but he looks pretty nimble. He looks pretty nimble. And this was just simply to avoid disaster play. Um, this was out the avoid disaster play book. What you got? Third and five. Third and five on the opponent's, what, 47-yard line? And we running screen passes out of bunch formations? Not only is that an indictment on this shitty-ass offensive line that you have, but that's an indictment on your quarterback's decision-making. That's an indictment on your receivers. That's an indictment on a lot. And like I said, this was a avoid disaster playbook. You see, we in plus territory, third and five. We just simply didn't want to take a loss due to the fact that if we had to punt, we can potentially pin Philadelphia back. Um, but a screen pass out of the bunch formation, you see nobody is spread out. You need space when you run screen passes. Nobody is spread out. They run a screen pass here. Slay takes on two blockers, and that leaves what? Three on one. One, two, three. That leaves Curtis Samuel to make three guys miss. I know he has some games where he's like the human joystick. I never expect that to happen. You know, he's the human joystick for quarters one through three, as we mentioned in our reaction video last week, but I never expect him to beat three men. And that's the result. 
We did pin him back though, so our play worked. Oh, Mercy Percy. Oh, Mercy Percy. And that happened right in front of us. You know, we on the 25 yard line. Uh, Percy Butler made a hell of a play. He knocked that ball out. Look at Chris Paul pulling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Brian Robinson. When the fuck you get that fast, bro? When Brian Robinson get that fast, he running away from Darius Slay. Now, I know Darius Slay owed his get out. But Brian Robinson was still picking him up and putting him down on this play. But look at Chris Paul, man. Y'all told me he couldn't move in space. Look at him on this pull. Pull identified, dislodged the linebacker. And then Brian Robinson taking an angle away from Darius Slay. Hey, Brian Robinson, I ain't never, ever seen you act like this before. This is a guy that has 4 5 40 speed. Sometimes he be looking like 4 6. Right there, he looking like 4 3. He lay like you're running about 4 3 right there. What's up, Brian Robinson? Why can't I get that burst more often? It was beautiful to see, though. Right outside the red zone. And we just dropping bombs. Watch your fucking head, boy! Watch your fucking head, boy! As I mentioned yesterday, Emmanuel Forbes' new name is A.J. Brown Jr. But James, Bur James Bradbury's name has been Terry McCoy Jr. since 2021. When Terry put that, ha ha! When he put that boy on skates, and honestly, probably before that, but I remember when he put that boy on skates while he was still a member of the New York Giants on Thursday Night Football. I know James Bradbury be having nightmares with Terry McLaurin. Hey, Terry, I know the NBA season just started this week. You ain't got to dunk on them boys like that, bro. You ain't got to dunk on them boys like that, bro. Matter of fact, yes, you do. Keep doing it. Watch your fucking head, boy. Look at David Mayo, big slow ass, bruh. David Mayo being on the NFL roster in 2023 is malpractice. Tough catch. Cam Curl did a good job passing all those routes. Tough throw, tough catch. They get paid too. And this is what I knew. They had woken up that grown ass man. It was right around this time. I knew they ain't woken up that grown ass man. What they call him in Philly? Swole Batman? I call him Emmanuel Forbes' daddy. That's what I call him. Every time Emmanuel Forbes see AJ Brown, he needs to call him Arthur Juan. He needs to give that man the utmost respect. Hell of a tackle by Kendall Fuller. They ain't do much of covering yesterday, but that was a hell of a tackle. To beat those blocks and then take DeAndre Swift down in one-on-one, -on -one, it's not an easy task to say the least. We still with the timing, quick passes. Feeding Terry McLaurin in the first half. Hey, take me to flight school, Logan. Logan out here moving like it's 2013, not 2023. He out there moving like he back at Georgia at Virginia Tech. Look at James Bradbury, big dumbass. Pick your man up. <coughs> Pick your fucking man up. He out there getting ducked on. He out there getting hurdled. That boy Logan hit him with the, I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Got that boy assed out on the ground. Got that boy on both knees just ready to give it up. Pick your fucking man up. Come on now. This is real old school Washington football. Alex Arma is in, but it's a fake to Robinson and on the move. How unload. Love how Sam stood in the pocket. Love how Sam stood tall, found an open man. Brian Robinson, you got to make him miss, bro. There you go. That's the B-Rob I know. That's a hell of a tackle by Nicobe Dean, though. You see, what is the thing for the first couple of passes that you've seen so far? Short dropbacks, quick dropbacks, on time. 
And Sam is showing his accuracy. Oh my God, it took eight, Eric B. Enemy eight weeks to figure this shit out. But I'm glad he did. But I'm glad he did. Because guess what? When you got Sam Howell playing with that structure, slinging Sam Howell can be a pretty decent player. Antonio Gibson is so washed, bro. It's ridiculous. That's a hell of a route by Jahan. Looks like he's... And Jahan Dawson was out here beating mad coverage like it was 2022 again. He was partying like it was 2022. He looked like rookie year Jahan Dawson. Look at this move. Look at this move. He's out here. But in the back of a stat, in the inside, it's almost like a slot stat. I like that concept, especially against mad coverage. Looks like he might tail off. Is he running a flat? Is he running a corner? He gives a hard outside stem. And watch him cut this back inside. Now you see me, now you don't. Now you see me, now you don't. Look at how much space he created. Love that play call by Eric Bieniemy. That's how you fuck up mad coverage. Look at this thing. Look at Sidney Brown. He ain't stand a fucking chance. Especially now with 2022 Jahan Dotson on the horizon. Ha ha! Now you see me, now you don't. Ha ha! That's the moves that I was going to be... That's the, that's the moves I was expecting week in and week out from Dotson, man. Because he has that type of talent. He does. Grown ass man, mama. A grown ass man, mama. Jalen Hurts had one knee, bro. And this might not even be the best play. Because he did have to roll out and we collapsed the pocket. But right here, you got all four of your first round defensive linemen on the field. Second and ten. Look at how much time he gets. John Allen. Is this John Allen? Yes, John Allen giving that old school hunt move. He applies a little bit of pressure. But look at Chase. Like, watch what Chase does. Like, what the fuck, bruh? Like, what the fuck, bruh? You just out here just willingly running in the niggas' backs, bruh. Like, what is that? Then you leave all this fucking field open. Chase Young started out here. Like, come on, bruh. Fundamental discipline football, and we not playing. Then he hits that grown-ass man. And at this point... We up 14 to 3. I had this little boy trolling the shit out of me. While we up 11 points, he knew. He done seen Washington command the football. He know how this go. I'm over there saying scoreboard. He like, ha ha, I'm going to have the last laugh. And little did I know, yes the fuck he was. Yes the fuck he was. He out there hitting the gritty in my face. It was crazy. Emmanuel Forbes wrapped around his damn daddy style. I think this might have been Emmanuel Forbes' his first snap. They saw him right in the game and went right at that motherfucker. Word to shot. They were like, barbecue chicken alert. Word to shot, right? Right? And they don't even show the putrid ass technique that he used on this. Then he wraps around his father's leg like a newborn child. Ready to be read a bedtime story. And just praise for their life that his homeboys come. Ankle biter. Oh my God, y'all. Cam Curl forcing turnovers, y'all. Oh my God, y'all. Cam Curl forcing turnovers. And at this moment, we got Cam Curl forcing turnovers. That's like seeing Bigfoot. I just knew he was going to win. Everything was falling our way. 
Cam Curl forcing turnovers? I ain't seen that, what, since 2020? Oh, my God. 2021. That's like seeing a, a Donald Snowman at this point. Hell of a play by Cam to strip it, though. And then can y'all believe that Fidelian Mathis is back on the football field? Look at him. Look at him. He can't even believe that shit. He can't even believe he back on the football field, bruh. He ain't did this shit in so long. I'm glad he got the ball. He ain't did this shit. Look at the excitement. Chase out there knowing he ain't do shit. Out there celebrating knowing he just been running and lining in box all day. <laughs> The ghost of Jamison Crowder. Why is Jamison Crowder our best free agent acquisition? Why is Otis Dirt as Jamison Crowder our best free agent? A hey, Sam was dealing, bro. I forgot about that throw. Rolling to the right, running away from pressure. Instant pressure too. To John Allen, I mean John Sweat just fucked Charles Leno up right off the snap. This was not a design rollout. He sensed it today. He sensed the pressure today, guys. Oh, my God. Improvement. Improvement. And these are some of the reasons why I think we can build upon what Sam Howe has. Rolls to the right. Makes an off-platform throw. That's a 25-yard dot. Rolling to the right. Beating mad coverage. Sam Howe was dealing yesterday, ladies and gentlemen. Too bad our great value ass defense couldn't do the same. Our layaway ass defense. Close to a first down, but Logan Thomas not backwards. He was needed a big defensive play. The pass. Almost intercepted. Ha! And ladies and gentlemen, this is where the tide turns. You on the plus side of the field. You at the what? 34 yard line. That's a 51 yard kick. Joey Sly shows you later in the game that he can make a 61 yard clip. We're way within his range. And I'm not even mad at the fact that we going for it on fourth and one. You're going against a team that you're not expected to beat. You might as well put the put your fucking foot on their necks, right? Put your fucking foot on it. Foot on, foot on their necks. Put your fucking foot on their necks, excuse me. But this is something that you can't do. We motioned Brian Robinson out. So now we're in the empty backfield with no threat of the run game. Terry McLaurin backside. You ain't learned that last week against Deontay Banks. This might not be the throw. This might not be the read. I'm not loving Terry McLaurin in one-on-one -on -one coverage on the backside this year. Not winning short. This looks eerily similar to the goal line play in New York last week. You're on a hitch route with Terry McLaurin that he doesn't win on. And you can tell that was Sam's one and only read because he doesn't even look the fucking other way. He doesn't even bother to fucking look right because watch who comes running wide open. Watch who comes running wide ass open. And you're going to see where the safety comes at. You know he ain't right there at the moment that this ball, that, that, and that Curtis had broken open. But Sam already got the ball out of his hand. Because he making one fucking read. Terry not winning on the route. Look at where the safety was at. You telling me he making that play. You can still see Curtis Cleek right there. He ain't making that fucking play, dog. And that is where the tide turned. You have a potential touchdown scoring drive. A potential touchdown scoring play. Because Curtis Samuel scores a touchdown if you just simply get him the ball there. And that turns into zero points. And let's see what it turns into for the Philadelphia Eagles. On third and two, Hurts will dump it off. And Caleb gets the first down. For A.J. Brown, five catches, five targets. And Hurts has a moment. And catch made. Devontae Smith. It's at the 35 of the first down. Hurts. Open in the middle of the field. Shit looking like fucking 7 on 7. Where the fuck is this defensive line, bruh? 
I see why they talking about trading all y'all big dumbasses tomorrow, bruh. What the fuck are y'all? Out there collecting the check. Pocket clean as fuck. Nobody winning. First round pick. First round pick. First round pick. First round pick. Nobody fucking winning. Pocket look like a fucking you. Looks like a perfect fucking you. Jalen Hurst can fucking write a book back there in that motherfucker right now. He's so fucking comfortable. Then you got this grown ass man dunking on my corners, bruh. Then you got this grown ass man dunking on this on my corners. What T.O. say? It's really unfair. It's really unfair. What AJ Brown is doing to Washington defensive backs is really fucking unfair. Word to T.O. Shit is like abuse. Shit is like child abuse because he's all of their fathers. Now I know Emmanuel's Forbes name was legally changed to Arthur Wild Brown Jr., but he sluts out any DB. Kendall Fuller, you get slutted out. Benjamin St. Juice, you can get slutted out. And he's a hell of a talent. But we can't make not one play, bruh. We can't make one play. Out there dunking, bro. Hey, cut it out, Arthur Juan. Cut it out, Arthur Juan. Bro, we really had to ju the ghost of Jamison Crowder frying. And I was getting back to the point that I was uh, trying to make earlier. If Jamison Crowder, who you brought in during game week of week one, is your best free agent acquisition of this year, what does that tell you about this free agent class? Nick Gates, dog shit. Cody Barton, dog shit and hurt. Nick Gates, dog shit and on the bench. It ain't even like you brought in a lot of people. You thought that this line was not. You thought this team was nice. Andrew Wiley, dog shit. Organizational malpractice, bros. Look at Sam Howe. I love this two-minute drill, though. You see what happens when Sam Howe plays in structure? He was real live. Like, Jahan Dotson was real live acting like it was 2022 all over again. Hopefully, we can get this the rest of the season. Because before today, he was looking like me out that bitch running routes. He's getting open and he's getting opportunities. He's getting opportunities today. Because the line isn't fucking tabbing out fighting for a dear life. He's able to look downfield because he's playing within structure. And Jahan Dotson with his sudden, sudden movements and winning so, winning so suddenly, he's the type of player that excels when you win in structure. When you play with timing. Swole Joey! Swole Joey! He out here making 61-yard kicks. But we afraid to kick 51 yarders. And like I said, I'm not mad at the call. But you got to give me a better play call than that. You got to. Especially when I know my, my, my kicker can boot it from fucking 60 yards. Hey. Hey. You going to have a hard time convincing me that Joey Slide doesn't do steroids. Why is this, like, he's roided up, bro. Let me know when you see the kicker this fucking jack and this fucking height. Bro, out this bitch looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger, bro. Is that Joey Sly or Arnold Schwarzenegger? Is that Joey Sly or Jay Heath? Like, what the fuck? But guess what? If you kick kicking 61 yarders, you can do as many steroids, lift as many weights as you want, bro. Who puts that title? That curl? I think that's curl. 
Gotta make that tackle. Yeah, it's definitely curl. Gotta make that tackle, Cam Curl. Now I think that this was a bullshit call. The contact was in five yards, but I told y'all before. Do y'all peep? The NFL, when they know they fuck up, they don't replay it. They don't replay it. The illegal contact that they said happened, happened within five yards. It wasn't on the play. We actually didn't see the illegal contact. We didn't see it. It wasn't that little bullshit in the end zone. Because that's a good play. But guess what? When A.J. Brown been slutting you out all day, the refs going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Not saying that they should, but we all human. He like, bro, he been slutting him out all game. He had to have a foul. He had to do something illegal. He's been getting slutted out all game. Let alone a pass interference in the end zone that got him to the one yard line. Hey, NFL, I thought y'all stopped fucking us over when Dan Snyder left. Cut that shit out, bruh. Ball don't fucking lie, bitch. Ball don't lie, bitch. Weak ass touch plus. Weak ass touch plus ain't work. That's karma. Ball don't lie. Word to Rashid Wallace. Did they show every one of Jahan Dawson's fucking catches? Every one of his catches was a highlight? Hey, I guess when you only catch, what, 17 balls up until yesterday? I guess it is. Why is Logan getting ran down by defensive linemen? I think this is a play that they drew up for Amari Rodgers. I think Eric B. Enemy was thinking of Amari Rodgers when he drew this play up in February with his 4 5 speed. I don't know if they're supposed to hold Fletcher Cox a little longer, but it's third and 12, so I might be asking too much. I might be a little greedy. But the ghost of Logan Thomas, old ass Logan Thomas, he not doing that. Not at this stage in his career. Hell of a play, Danny. Wonder why they even thought to put Emmanuel Forbes in for them five plays. Ron Rivera talking about he need to see a fucking replay. I can tell from Section 139, row 10, that he ain't catch this ball. You can tell right now. That bitch is on the fucking ground, bruh. He over there. Oh, 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 I'm just waiting for the Jumbotron, you know. No, I'm just waiting for the Microsoft Surface, you know. You know, they, they didn't buzz in my ear. You know, guys, 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 guys. Like, you know, was it a catch? We're just waiting for the jumbo truck. Like sitting there with his dumb ass arms folded, bruh. Ball clearly on the fucking ground right here. Look at everybody that saw it saying no. But you got to wait for a fucking flag. Look at all the offensive players. Look at Burgess. Look at Kendall. Saying no. Guys, guys, guys. But you got to wait for a fucking flag? Bro, you trying to get fired, bro. You ain't fooling nobody. You trying to take that fucking 8 million, take your ass to Pebble Beach so you can golf and not worry about shit for the rest of your life. Because ain't nobody else giving you another head coaching job, bro. Guys, guys, guys. Guys, guys. guys. Well, you know, I just, I didn't, it didn't show up on the Jumbotron, you know? And then that shit proceeds to happen, bruh. And then that shit proceeds to happen. You go from having turnovers on downs, because that was fourth down, to this. You put A.J. Brown's son out there on him. 
And then guess what? Guess what? A.J. Brown said it's not enough to give my son, Emmanuel Forbes, some work. It ain't enough just to give him some work. We're going to get our second round draft pick in on this too. John Tavius Martin at the back end of the train. Both our first and second round pick out this bitch getting dunked on. Look at AJ. Look at look at Emmanuel Forbes. Now nah, I was right. Look at AJ Brown Jr. trying to tackle his damn daddy. With Big Bro over there, and can't even fucking help. Big Bro over there, helpless as fuck. Our second round pick got in on the back end of that train. I told you, he just out here slaying out Washington DBs. Bro averages 160 yards and two touchdowns on us on the season. That's what he averages, bro. What the fuck? Jamison Crowder found his legs from 2016, bro. He's responded today. Good throw, good catch. You just match up well with that opponent. Washington certainly has that. Sam Howell is out of the pocket. Good run. Good first down. Using your legs. Third down. And that's a fucking dime. I told y'all, my favorite throws to Sam Howell, where he really shows, those, shows off that arm strength, is not the bombs. It's when he throws these fucking, these fucking laser beams over the middle in between the numbers. Look at the accuracy. That's good coverage. That DB still ain't stand a fucking chance. Throwing it to your big target. Beautiful throw by Sam. Sam Ball. Sam Howe was not the reason we lost yesterday. There's that great value ass defensive line. Along with that great brow, you ass brothers on the back end. Your young quarterback gives you a lead against a conference champion, the division champion, a team that's only won one game so far. That's when your six first round draft picks on the defense are supposed to take over. That's when, you know, Chase Young's supposed to be that generational talent and take over games. That's when John Allen's supposed to, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Seven years of this shit. That's when you're supposed to show us that you're sick and tired of this shit. But what do you do? I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. Seven years of this shit. You had one assistant tackle yesterday, John Allen. I don't think you need to be the guy ranting and raving in the locker room after the game. Seven years of this shit. Try 28 years of this shit. I'm scoring, bruh. I'm hurt. You sick of this shit? So what am I? I'm done with this shit. And they talking about some they not taking calls, fielding calls on you. Why the fuck not? So you can get one assisted fucking tackle? You couldn't even get a tackle of your own yesterday. Oh my God, the D-Live finally get a little pressure. I told you, these, these niggas is never in sync. The D-line finally get a little pressure. Deron Payne whips his man. Deron Payne is also the best player on this team right now. But you got a coverage lapse, and you got niggas running booty butthole naked. You got dudes running booty butthole naked up FedEx Field. That boy was booty butthole naked. How the fuck does that happen? And I told y'all, Sam Howell bought. But guess what? That's what a defense that shows up, that answers the bell, when the offense has kept him in the game, that's what that looks like. Sam Howell had 400 yards and four TDs yesterday. I ain't about to harp on no one interception. Because guess what? The game shouldn't have been tied here. When we went up 24-17, that's when that first round defensive line, that vaunted defensive line was supposed to do what they do. They were supposed to make Jalen Hurts throw an interception. But what they do? Get bullied instead. The 
Bro, you just got your ass kicked the last. Oh. Bro, we got these niggas jigging on our shit, bro. Like, I don't. Like, I don't mind them celebrating when they making a play. We can't have them doing this shit like this, bro. Like, these are the type of niggas you can't let make plays because they're going to do shit like this. What the fuck is he? Riding him like a cow? I'm going to ride him like a rodeo. This nigga out here listening to City Girl. You know not to let this nigga make a play. He out here doing shit like this. You know he ain't used to making plays, bro. We got fucking Julio Jones out here scoring touchdowns in 2023. The ghost of Julio Jones. Julio Jones played that game with a life alert necklace yesterday. Julio Jones filed for AARP before this season. And then he came back off the couch and catching touchdowns on our head top. Julio Jones walked into FedEx with a fucking walker yesterday. I told you I seen it with my own eyes. But he young enough to catch touchdowns on us, bro. Oh, man, this shit hurts, bro. The ghost of Julio Jones. He ain't been in the end zone so long, he don't know what to do. Mad coverage. Antonio Gibson on the running back, former wide receiver. I hope you win that. You're supposed to win that. Y'all know we love seven, 17, Terry McLaurin, more than the next guy. More than probably anybody else watching this. You got to come up with that catch, bro. This is where that body catching that we've been telling y'all about for the two years, that's when it comes to play. Not the best throw by Sam. Oh, they, they bailed Terry out. They ain't even show his second drop. Not the best throw by Sam, but this is when you bail your quarterback that's thrown for almost 400 yards to this point in his ninth career start. This is when my Pro Bowl wide receiver, two-time Pro Bowl wide receiver, is supposed to bail him out. That's not the best throw. You got both hands on the ball. You got to make that catch, 17. Y'all know we love 17, but nobody is absolved from criticism. We not fanboys over here. We fans. <laughs> we fans. And we got two eyes. Fourth and five, last potential game time drive. Offensive line that held up all game. You done got Nick Gates' bum ass out of there. You done got fucking Sadiq. He not a bum. Sadiq Charles isn't in there. They doing their job. But you know your boy Andy Dub. You already know. Our prized right tackle free agent that we signed on the first day of the offseason. You knew he was bound to fuck up. And he just saved it for the most crucial time of the game. Fourth and five, second and 17. And he just gets his ass fucking whooped. You know how bad you got to get your ass whooped that when your quarterback fumbles the ball, you right there to pick that shit up? I mean, you ain't doing shit. I mean, your man done beat you so fucking bad that you was left to not do shit but pick the ball up. And that was essentially the game. Then the fucking Philadelphia Eagles do the Tush Push remix. They chopped and screwed the fucking Tush Push. They chopped and screwed the fucking Tush Push on us. And got freaky with that bitch and scored. Bruh. Just put me on my misery, bruh. And this is just garbage time at this point. All this shit is an anomaly at this point. What are we watching at this point? 
Some bullshit. That's what we watching. Jameson crowd out this bitch cooking like it's 2015. Hey, hey, that was shit was an anomaly, and the game was long gone, but that's a fucking dot by Sam Howe. Look at this shit. Pressure in his face, throwing it the only way his receiver could get it, beating bracket coverage. That's bracket coverage, beating two dudes. And that's a hell of a catch by Jamison Crowder as well. So... We gonna end on that. We gonna end on a good note because it ain't too many good notes to end on. So if you love this episode, if you love this reaction video, as I mentioned before, hit that subscribe button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, we're about what thirty followers away. I mean, forty followers away from our one K subscriber goal. I want to send one of y'all to a game. I want to send one of y'all to a Washington Commander game on my behalf, free of charge. But I'm not gonna do it until we hit that one K mark. And like I said, I know a lot of y'all might not want to go, but I'm sending you for free. Who could get mad at free 99? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and I'll check in on you guys later.